Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to get practice with division, dividing by a one-digit divisor. So we're going to start out in this lesson with the simpler division problems, and then we're going to go off to the next lesson in a little bit more complicated division problems, just with more digits really. And then we'll do some word problems to round out this uh, lesson. So you all know that division is basically the opposite of multiplication. So as we do our division problems, we're constantly going to be using our multiplication tables. And that's why learning your multiplication tables is so incredibly important. So if you have problems doing these, these, these problems with me or understanding them, then it probably means that you need to really memorize all of your multiplication tables really, really well. So I highly recommend that you get some flashcards or, or some other you know, uh, way to memorize all of your multiplication tables, at least through 12 times 12. All right, so let's talk about division. Uh, what we have here, for instance, we put a 24 and we put it under this division symbol here um, and we're dividing by 8. This is how we actually are going to solve the problem, but what you might see written on your test is you might see something like 24 divided by 8. What you're trying to see is how many times can 8 go into 24. The first thing you need to realize for this very simple problem that I'm starting out with is that 24 divided by 8 goes an even number of times because you know that 8 times 3 is 24. You should know that. So 8 can go into 24 exactly 3 times. So for this problem, you can just write the answer down. But we're going to start to learn to use this method here because for bigger problems that you can't just figure out in your head, you're going to have to use that long division um, way here. So let me show you how to do it for this simple problem here. You're trying to figure out how many times 8 will go into 24 and divide into it. All right. So the first thing you do is you say, can 8 go into 2? You look at the first digit first. Can 8 go into 2? And 8 really can't go into 2 because 2 is actually less than 8. So you give up on that. You go to the next digit and look at these two dig digits together. How many times can 8 go into 24? Now again, this is a very simple problem. So you know that it goes 3 times because 8 times 3 is 24. So you put the 3 on top, but you put it on top of the 4 because this is telling you that you're dividing into 24. Then what you do is you multiply 3 times 8 and you write the answer that you get down below, which is 24, and then you subtract these guys from one another. 24 minus 24 is 0. So because you figured out that it went 3 times and because there's nothing left over, the answer that you write down is just 3. There's nothing else to write. 8 can go into 24 exactly 3 times. There's no remainder, there's nothing left over because when we did our subtraction at the end, we got a big fat zero. If we were to get something other than zero here at the end of the problem, then we would have a remainder, we'd have something left over. But in this problem, we didn't. So let's say we have the problem um, 25 divided by 5. How would you solve that? Well, you put the 25 underneath this division symbol and you put a 5 over here. You try to say, how many times can 5 go into 2? and it really can't go in. So you look at both of them together. How many times can 5 go into 25? So you think about your multiplication tables and you know that it goes 5 times and you write it over this digit. Then you multiply. 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, and then you subtract. Since these are the same number, it just gets 0 and the same sort of thing. There's no remainder left over. It can go 5 times together. And you knew that already. 25 divided by 5 you know is 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. There's nothing left over. All right, now let's go to a little bit more complicated problem. It's not going to be super complicated, but a little bit more, just to kind of get a little more 